Hi, I'm Dave Burse, and today we're going to see if we can be inspired by a hotel room. Hello, I've come to the Midlands to do some teaching tomorrow and also to do some pretty exciting stuff that I can't wait to tell you about, but not just yet. Shh, secret squirrels. So we are in the Roebuck Inn. This is where I'm staying tonight. This is my hotel room and I usually end up staying in hotel rooms that are quite bland and corporate. This is nothing like that. It's an old English inn. It is really beautiful and quirkily decorated. So let's have a look around this room and see what we can learn from it, what inspiration we can get from this gorgeous environment here. Come, take a look. Out of all the beautiful stuff in this incredible room, I decided to go for something that every hotel room has, and that is pointy bit on the toilet paper. You know, somebody was the first person to do this. Somebody did this for the first time at one point, and now every hotel does it. Every hotel room around the world seems to have a little pointy fold on the toilet paper. Interesting, so what are three principles that we can learn from this absolutely useless piece of amateur origami. So the first principle I think we can learn is look at the unglamorous stuff. You know, obviously it's sexier to look at the fabrics and the interior design and the mints and the pillows and all the lovely little touches, the stuff that you can tell people about and be proud about. Nobody else is looking at the unglamorous stuff and there lies an opportunity. Can you make the unglamorous stuff communicate something or become a moment of pleasure in some way or give people something to talk about? That's your opportunity. What can you do with that? The next principle I think we can learn is show that you have put in the work. I mean, isn't that the point of the point on the toilet roll? Is to show people that the cleaner has been in here, the cleaner has cleaned everything, the sheets have been changed, there's not going to be toenails from the previous tenant in here, that there's not going to be dirty marks inside the toilet. All the work has been done, everything is clean, you can trust this room. Even so much that we've put a fold in the toilet paper because we care. That's what it's about. It's kind of the signature at the end of having cleaned a room to say, boom, we've done it. Now that is a practical purpose, even although there is really no practical point to the point. It doesn't help you clean any better, I don't believe. I've certainly not discovered a way that it does. So show that you have done the work. What can you do that makes your customers go, wow, they've even paid attention to that detail. They really must have done everything. Another principle I think we can learn is at least meet industry standards. You know, everyone else is putting a point on the toilet paper, so you kind of have to do that as well. If you don't put a point on the toilet paper, it says something. It says to people, maybe they haven't done all the cleaning. Maybe these sheets were there for the previous person that stayed in this room. They really haven't told me that they have fully, fully cleaned this room. It's quite incredible that, that such a little thing as a, as a rubbish piece of origami like this can actually communicate quite so much. Now, I do a lot of traveling when I'm speaking and teaching, and some of the hotel rooms that I've stayed in, they've gone further than just putting a point. Some of them have put little stickers on it to attach that point, just to show that, hey, not only do we care, but we really care, and here's a sign that's part of our brand. I've been to one hotel that actually put a ribbon and a little bow around the toilet paper as well as doing the point. Now that's really taking it further. Totally unnecessary, but you know, they're really trying to up the ante there to show that they care even more than other hotels do and they've maybe cleaned even better than other hotels do. So what can you do to meet the industry standard and go a little bit further? 
So that's three principles for you. Hopefully you find these useful. If you come up with any other ones, then please let me know in the comments if there's anything that you think we can learn from the toilet paper. I would love to hear it. If you found this useful in any way, then please hit like and share it with other people as well, other people that you think might find it useful too. And also, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, then please subscribe and click the little bell icon. It sounds as if I'm nagging, it sounds as if it doesn't actually matter at all, but this stuff does matter. It's stuff that makes sure that the, the videos make their way up the rankings, that uh, more people get to see the videos. So I'm sorry if it feels like I'm being a pain and I'm asking you to do stuff you don't want to do. Um, I'm trying to create videos that are useful to you. Uh, if you do find them useful, then please, all I'm asking is that you can help in your own way to help this channel get seen by more people and to be useful to more people. I'm desperately trying to hit the 1000 subscriber mark for a start, which will help me take the channel a little bit more seriously as well. So in the meantime, please, big love to your beautiful brain and big love to all the brains that are around you. I love you. Bye.